Back in the 90s, I was a part of the very first THS newscast called Tomahawk Talk. Now it's called THS TV, and boy, have times evolved. This is Brooke Dennis. She's the sponsor of THS TV and a teacher here at Thompson High School. What all do you do here at Thompson? Well, I am. Um, I teach six different broadcast classes. So um, those range from just beginners all the way to my, you know, experienced filmmakers. Uh, we do some production classes. I have a directing class, sports broadcasting, and then I sponsor Full and Scroll. So lots of different oh, wow. stuff. You, you do a lot of things. Yeah. Well, I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about you and what you're doing here with the team. And that's obvious when you walked away with, or your students walked away with several awards mm -hmm. um, just a short while ago. Tell us, tell us about that day. Okay. Well. You know, we always compete really well at um, the Alabama Scholastic Press Association. Um, this is something that I went to when I was in high school. They learn a lot there, but then just going and competing. And um, we had a lot of students who had, this was their first time to compete, and they actually did really well. Um, we, I think we came home with about 21 individual awards, wow. uh, all Alabama for THS TV. And then um, Brady Talbert, our senior, won three of the six senior awards. So we had a big day. Um, wow. It was really exciting. Yeah, good stuff going on here. So how are the students chosen? to be on THS TV? So uh, I have a foundations class where they learn all the basics. We cover just about everything that you can think of in the television production world, even from uh, even radio and graphic design, just to kind of give them a little bit of taste of what it would be like to be on the show. And, and throughout that time, I'm evaluating them, how they work under pressure, how they meet deadlines. And then at the about this time of year, we're actually going through the application process. So students that are in foundations, in the sports broadcasting classes and directing, they're all applying to be on THS TV. Um, we do some evaluation evaluations with their teachers, get some feedback about how they are in other classes, and then we do an interview process. So I usually pick between um, about 13 to 17 kids a year. We talked a little bit about the new building and y'all are getting ready to pack things up. Um, what can we look forward to in the new building that's going to be different than what you guys have here? So what we're really excited about in the new building is that we are going to have a space that is designed for us. You know, when I came here 10 years ago, it was you know this classroom and then a little bitty closet over there on a different hallway where we did all of our shows. And over the course of the, the time that I've been here, we've been able to kind of make some adjustments, work on some things in that classroom, but it's still just a renovated classroom that we've turned into a studio. We film, we you know record our audio in a closet, they change clothes in a closet. So um, the thing we're really excited about is there's gonna be dressing rooms, there's gonna be an audio booth, there's gonna be a control booth. So all the things that you would see in a normal studio are gonna be built just for us. And we had a lot of, in, you know, a lot of input in that. So yeah. we were able to say, here are the things that we need. And Central Office was really supportive and, and gave us that and really was supportive of the program for that. So we're, we're super excited. Wow, about that's going to be amazing. Yes. <laughs> okay, and finally, for the community, how can they watch the news or any other productions that you guys do? Okay, we stream online at thslive.com. Um, we have two channels, so there's channel one and channel two. You can choose either one. Uh, we also have a lot of content on YouTube, so it's youtube.com slash cthstv, or you can just do a search on YouTube. There are links on our school webpage. Uh, they can get to all the content, and we have Facebook and Twitter and all those good social media, Snapchat. So any of those ways they can connect with us and see the content that we're pushing out. This is Noah Peavy and Sam Callahan. They're part of the THS broadcast team and you guys have been a part of it since you were freshmen. Yes. So what does it mean to be a senior? Were you like sad? Are you excited about the next step? What do you think Sam? I was uh, very excited. Obviously you know everybody you know you go through your years of high school and then senior year gets here gets here and you know in a blink of an eye it's here and then it's over and uh, time's already winding down so I'm pretty excited. All right, tell us about the THS news. Like, what all is on that? Okay, uh, on our daily shows, our big shows, we do two a week. We have, we start off with the main news, and then we have a sports entertainment session section, and we have weather, and then we'll do like a special segment, which depends on the day. It could be tech news, or it could be just something going around the school based on the season. We do every single football game. We live stream it and commentate it. Uh, basketball games if they're home, just a lot of different home events and pep rallies in during school. Great, I know the community enjoys getting to watch those That's if they right. can't be here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm here with Brady Talbert. I know you guys recognize him. He's done our student spotlight for us here at Alabaster Living, and we have loved you being a part of it. Have you enjoyed doing the student spotlight? Oh, absolutely. It's great to get professional experience through Alabaster Living, and as, as well as doing stuff with THS TV and other um, organizations. Um, Alabaster Living actually uh, helped me win Broadcast Journalist of the Year and Journalist of the wow. Year. So because I do have that professional experience and um, I think that stood out among the other candidates. That's awesome. So we can now say we're the award winning yeah, Alabaster absolutely. Living. Yeah. All because of you. So what are your plans after graduation? We are going to miss you, number one. Uh, we are yeah. so sad to yeah. be losing you, but uh, tell us what you're going to do. So I'm, I plan to go to Troy University and study broadcast journalism. They have a great broadcast program called Troy Trojan Vision News and that's where I will thrive, I guess. We have had such a blast being here behind the scenes at THS TV today. We are so impressed with all they have going on and look forward to what the future holds. That's all for today's news. Tune on Friday for more staycation ideas on spring break. And follow us on Twitter for updates happening at THS this week. Have a great day.